Hello and welcome to AutoInform Online Magazine. My name is Frank Massey. In this how-to feature, I'd like to present a very unique and extremely useful tool for engineering repair. One thing we've had a great deal of pride in, in over the years is an, an engineering solution to a technical problem. Thread repair can take many options from helicoiling, drilling, tapping. One of the most common repairs we're often engaged in is when a thread in a blind location is damaged. I'm thinking of vehicle under tray, body trims, even perhaps when perhaps there's, 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 there's a component that isn't being secured strong enough and you want to actually reinforce it, then the, 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 the rivet repair kit, the rivet nut repair kit, is an ideal solution. Basically, it's a kit that allows replacement of a blind thread often suspension parts use them as well, from M4 up to M12, whereby you insert a threaded sleeve, which in turn is then riveted into locations that becomes a secure thread repair in a blind location. As I say, it's ideal for body panels, engine covers, under trays, um, any limited access capability where you can't get behind a particular structure but you want to insert a secure thread. So let's have a look at how the kit operates. It's essentially a, a ratchet mechanism, it's a reversible ratchet mechanism with a unique mandrel. The mandrel uh, is determined by the size of the rivet nut. We're using an 8x125 rivet which in turn will attach itself to the end of the mandrel like so. The mandrel actually then is pulled through this tool by means of a ratchet. First of all, what we need to do is find a workpiece. I've chosen a simple engine bracket. Um, let's assume that we want to add a thread or a thread has become damaged in this workpiece. First thing we need to do, secure the workpiece in the vise determine the diameter of the rivet nut, that's 8.86 millimetres. Find a drill which is slightly larger, 8.92 is ideal, and drill a clean hole to take the rivet. As I say, this is ideal. Quite often we've had under trays which are attached quite often with, for want of a better word, plastic clips, dursed clips, which often shear off and become weak and worn with age. Um, particularly when servicing vehicles with, with vehicles that are three, four, five years old, a lot of these attachments do become worn. Um, we often replace them with these rivet nuts. It's a very, very secure way, a much more professional engineering way of attaching under trays. The glasses I'm wearing are reinforced, so they do serve as safety glasses also. So the first challenge is to open up. Open up the hole to the appropriate size. Just check the size. You want a nice snug fit. You don't want too much excess because obviously the rivet's going to be pulled um, from behind. But you want a snug fit. You want the sleeve to be a, um, quite a nice snug fit, which it is. I'm now going to attach the rivet nut onto the mandrel. Push it right up to the flange. Secure it with the outer handle and then slowly engage the ratchet. Now all the time that I'm pulling this up at the back of that rivet nut is peening the, the two sides of the rivet nut in the workpiece. It's a matter of judgment uh, how much force and how much riveting action you want. You can always um, 
reverse the ratchet, release the tension, take the mandrel out, take a look. You don't need to commit on the first process. Take a look at how secure it is. Try the, um, the bolt in. If you feel you need to tighten it some more, reattach the mandrel. Snugly up to the flange, reverse the ratchet, tighten a little more, slacken it off. And you can see it's a very simple tool to use. And the net result is an extremely professional, strong and durable fitting. Um, they're an alloy fitting, so with, with uh, lubrication protection, ideal for underbody fittings um, and, and, and uh, engine covers, etc. Very professional, very neat, um, and an absolute uh, boon for repairing these types of, uh, of uh, damaged fittings. If you're interested in developing your diagnostic skills, why not visit the AutoInform or ADS website for all of our training products, both face-to-face, -face, DVD and online.